Hi there everyone, it's Sarah here and I thought I would just do a flip through of my little Rona mini album that I made. Um, this is a little book that I made and it measures six inches by four and a half and it's recording basically the first year of little Rona's life. Um, she was one, years, one year old on the 28th of December and she certainly is a little character and we all love her to bits. Um, so this is my front cover and that's a picture of her running through the grass up at the fishery. Um, and I've also, I've, what I've done is I've just mounted it on a couple of Project Life cards and added a couple of little glittered stars. The chipboard alpha letters, um, because it was a glossy slick finish that was on the, the letters, I used alcohol inks and just did a kind of a dabby mottle defect on it and then covered it with the Spectrum Noir shimmer pen, if you can see the, the letters. Now the paper that I've covered this in is first edition and it's wild at heart and you can see the back, it's little glossy rabbits that are covering the, the the album. I've bound it with the Bind It All and I used um, one inch antique brass O-wires to bind this. Um, so everything is edged in Ground Expresso Distress Ink. So I've used that around all the edges. And the cardstock that I have used throughout is Stampin' Up's Crumb Cake and I've got some black cardstock that I got from the Ross Papercraft show. Um, and the patterned paper that I used is from Studio Calico and it is the classic Calico selection uh, collection and that's the one that I've used. I've used quite a bit out of here. Um, okay, so onto my first page. When it all began, this is little Rona when we picked her up and we got her in February 2016 and it says you make my heart sing and that's when it all began. And then I've got another um, picture here. These are all Instax photo. Um, the Instax, it's not the camera, it's the printer I bought so I can print direct off my smartphone onto pictures, you know, the Polaroids. So this was little um, Rona when she was only eight weeks old and this is a picture of her beside her mum and her mum is called Poppy. Her mum is a Springer Spaniel and her dad is a Cocker Spaniel. So on the next page you can see a picture of her dad. If that will focus properly. There we go. And his name is Beans. And I just used a small Studio G Hampton Art wooden alphabet set to, to do all the lettering onto the uh, and mounting these onto little word windows. Okay, so again on this one I've just used um, a Project Life card at the back, some nice patterned paper and another little photo of wee Rona who is just as cute as a button and I just mounted a little button on the bottom of that Polaroid there. Okay on to this next one. This is the family. We've got Isla in the background, we've got Chunky in the foreground and we've got little Rona to the right there and what I've done is use these little wooden arrow pieces to point everybody out. And on the next page this is Isla and Rona and they love visiting the pond, also known as the fishery. Um, they're up there quite a bit, um, they love to run about um, and this is just a picture of the two of them running through up at the fishery. Um, if you're wondering why Chunky's not in any of these ones, he doesn't get to go up to the fishery because he has lymphoma and he doesn't have an immune system so I don't want to take him up there in case he gets something from any little bits of wildlife that are running about because there's foxes, deer and all sorts up there. So that's why he's not in any of the pond pictures. 
And here's another one. I've got another one of these little wooden hearts. And then this is just little Rona as a pup with her ball. And she loves her Chuck It Ultra Ball. And then this is another one of her in April. And again, this was taken up at the pond and her coat is absolutely gleaming. You'd think someone had shone, you know, buffed her up and given her a, a coating of oil because she's so shiny and got a gorgeous coat. And then this is May. And this is her in the back garden, sitting on the decking. Um, she's such a good wee girl, and we all love her to bits. Now I, I'm waiting on a picture. I'm waiting on more of these. The film coming from Amazon, so there are some blank pages that I have to fill in, um, but there are some pages that I have already done, depending on the time frame and the in the year, and um, how I printed them out. So this is little. Rona down at the beach and this was taken in October and again this page has got nothing on it at the moment and then I've got another blank page here that's got to get filled in so that's three photographs that I need to complete the album but the very last page I used some gold foiled cardstock from an SEI stack on this one and it's just lovely and this was Rona on the 28th of December 2016 on her first birthday and she is just a wee cutie Look at that wee face. So, and then we've got the back cover. So this is the album. Um, I love it. Um, and what I'm, I'm thinking about doing is putting a bigger O-wire on this because it's sitting, well you can see it's sitting at an angle and I want it to lie kind of flat. So I do have an inch and a quarter O-wires which I think I'll put one on just to give it that little bit extra room. And then I'll take photographs of all this and pop it on my blog once it's complete and I've got these three pages done. So hopefully I'll get that done next week. Okay, okay, that was my little album. We hope you like it. Um, it's just a, you know, a keepsake for us to remember little Rona from being a tiny puppy right the way through to the gorgeous big girl that she is now. Okay, thank you and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.